all right welcome back lola so let's get back to this video yes baby all right so i am going to get phoebe dressed again phoebe is the willow awake by sculpted by claire teller painted by myself um she is full body soft silicone armatures and elbows only no drinking wet um, the purpose of this video is that I'm going to go into showing the difference in between a cloth body and a full body silicone baby. I've kind of gotten away from doing these type videos, but I'm driven to do a child. Uh, you know, sometimes I just can't help myself. Um, don't make me regret it. <laughs> just kidding. I just always heard some people say that. Oh, is this new? Oh, I think I gave the other one to my grandbaby. Okay, then. All right, I didn't realize that this one was new. Um, she's actually wore one before. Well, we'll put it on it anyway. Um, yeah, I forgot I sent the other one home. To send it home to Audrey Pool. But anyway, um, so a lot of times we give our advice as YouTube creators, as collectors, as um, experienced collectors, um, artists, etc., etc., based on our own experiences. And our advice is only as good as our experience. So, well, I shouldn't put it that way because I actually enjoy listening to people, perspectives, their thoughts from all different levels um from beginning beginning beginner collectors to season collectors to uh collectors that just collect just generic general um or collect you know wide range to collectors that only collect high dollar and i'm gonna say high dollar because not every high end a high end doll to me means high quality but in this community um the synopsis shows that high end is just reference to money so high price dolls and high end dolls to me are two separate things because i have seen people spend a whole heck of an amount of money for a doll that quality is no better than one that's just average that's low end priced if that makes sense so i'm going to get her dressed um today we're going to talk about the difference in the silicone not the pores, not the softness um, necessarily, but um, which one is the one that gives you, you know, the most fun? What is the difference between the full body and the soft body, cloth body? And, um, you know, that type stuff. So for me, um, full body, the number one thing is it's all, you know, Silicone, there's you don't have to worry about no cloth showing, so that looks more realistic automatically. Um, even if it's not that well painted, if the sculpting is nice, um, it still looks more realistic because you don't have to worry about well, I ain't gonna say it looks more still look more realistic. It you don't have to worry about the cloth showing. Um, there is a thing out there where some people say, you know, um, FYI, Phoebe is not my best painted silicone baby. Just for just FYI, um, but she is one of my favorites. Um, I think I kind of when I went back to correct her, I I don't like how I took away some of her depth. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know how I get into that, but anyway, um. I just love the the way that that the the uh, full body gives you that full baby experience. A lot of people think that you know um, silicone babies cannot look as real as reborns. Um, and I say again, it goes back that advice, that opinion is only based off of one's experience. Because if you've never experienced a silicone that is well painted. As well painted as a reborn of course that's your thought process right you only know what you know and so your advice their advice or their opinions are not wrong it's just th just that it's their opinions based off of their own experience 
in my experience, I've seen Reborns look actually, I mean, silicone look more realistic than Reborns. I will say it's very limited to find that because for one, the sculpting itself is hard to find in silicone to where they look, you know, realistic. There's not a lot of great sculptors out there in silicone. I hate to say that, but it's true. Um, it seems like, you know, sculpting a full body is a little bit more challenging. And I definitely can see why after if you guys were on my live stream and I sculpted that foot. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, just not something that you could just stumble apart, you know, and just do. Um, and then a lot of people sculpt on top of other people's work and then they mix the babies together. I call them Frankenstein babies because then they'll take, they'll sculpt on top of one sculptor work and then take, you know, the, the limbs or the head from another sculptor work. They put it all together. It's very unproportional. Uh, is that a word? And it just don't look good together. And that's why, because they didn't sculpt it from beginning to end. But that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. And I'm not getting into that and I'm not accusing anyone. Let's move along, honey, before you lose more endorsements. Um, anyway, but so I'm going to put her in this sleeper thing so that I can move her around. I really wanted to put, you know what, scratch this. I want to put her in long sleeve because when I do the moving and all that stuff, I, I want you guys to focus on the movement and not that. Um, I think that, sorry guys, my mind is, I'm not, I'm not a good. <laughs> I'm very spontaneous in my videos. I don't really think it out. I should write notes or something. I'm getting old. But, um, change of plans, guys. <laughs> Hopefully she can fit this. Crap. Maybe I should put it on before I pop the tags off. But, in my is experience, so that's that. Um, so for me, the difference is the amount of how flexible and how posable the cloth bodies are. Now, one would quickly say that, of course, the cloth bodies, being that they are more similar to Reborns, being on the cloth body with the joints, that they can move more, pose more, pose better, and that the soft silicone, or the silicone full body babies, I should say, are less posable and flexible. Now that was very true and actually like almost factual to all silicones until they started doing the soft silicone and the armatures. Um, once you have soft silicone and you have armatures, it gives you a little bit more room to play. Unfortunately, um, it still doesn't give you that exact you know freedom as a cloth body in my opinion unless now there are some dolls that really okay we can pop this it's safe to say she'll be able to work it out um it's safe to say that some um silicone babies are pretty much really close to the flexibility of a partial because of the sculpting the way that it's you know set up and design um for instance i was watching um courtney by claire teller and i noticed that that baby arms could go all the way up which oh look her skin too i didn't know that <laughs> or maybe i just didn't think about it but i will say this phoebe is extremely soft she's actually softer than than noah and so it gives her a lot more freedom to move. Usually that level of softness is gonna run you some money and the, you know, like I said, the armatures and the drinking wet and all that stuff that you get into them. The more features, the more, the more you want, the more you pay a lot of times. All right, so we got her dressed now. As you can see, like I said, she can move her hands up, she can move, you know, oh, she's soft, so she can she can pose them upward. She can pull them out because, like I said, she has armatures. And even if she didn't have armatures, if her arms is really soft, you may get away with it. It just may not hold like it will with the armatures. 
um, it kind of holds it pulls mine is her just you know moving because she's soft all right so we're gonna slide her over and we're gonna get into the partials Ooh, we gotta get moving so I decided to use Bryson as my little model today <laughs> now Bryson is Alex <laughs> by Claire Teller he is painted by me um, so he is a partial baby also the partials depending on the sculpt can be a lot more flexible as well just depend on the sculpting itself and how they make them but he does have a tummy plate in case you want to fake it like he's a full body um, but that's it but let me show you come on baby all right so without that this is what you get he's on a cloth body see that so I can turn his legs all the way up if I want to I can turn them down you can't do that with a silicone baby I can push her legs up but they're just gonna fall back down I can't turn them outward I can you know turn them in in but with him I can turn it in let it stay turn it out let it stay I can you know, I could turn them all the way around if I wanted to. Oh, I know that looks painful. I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. But I'm just showing you guys the flexibility of a partial. You can never get in a silicone. Don't be fooled. Full body. Um, but they can be very realistic in their posing as well. Now, if this full body is very firm... And the core is very firm you're gonna be very limited on what you can do okay I'm gonna put him on this I was gonna put him on the other outfit to match that one but since we changed we've negated that idea all the way I am going to go with this so I want them because I want them to be dressed the beauty of the partial silicone is that you get that so the silicone there the medium itself gives a level of realism um, it looks soft it looks like skin without touching it um, reborns can look real without touching it as well um, there's a translucency of the paint in the reborns that will allow it to look as realistic as a silicone but the feel is not going to be there i don't care how you texture it i don't care if you feather it i don't care what you do to it it's not going to have the feel of the silicone but i love the the the, the vinyl because but that's a whole nother subject for another day and another video but I love the vinyl because you get more variety but anyway back to these two so I love the partials because like I said there's so much more flexibility and even with getting them dressed is a lot easier because you can twirl the limbs around it is just lovely and like I said the the posing is just amazing on the partials and they just feel so cuddly and it's like you have that reborn experience but with the silicone so now if oh, I forgot to put your belly plate on you need it um if he was a stiff a, if she was a farmer silicone she wouldn't be able to move as much as this baby but being that she is we got options baby all right so like all right we're gonna put him here <laughs> we 
you can do the the little baby pose kind of limited all right so we can put them in the little baby pose it's not doing that great because i don't have much space hang on come at me all right so what are we gonna put you all right let's move you here all right and let me show you guys her she actually will probably move better <laughs> than him because of how soft she is she's extremely soft um but as you can see there is really no extreme limits to how this baby moves the realism of her is there um because of the sculpting mainly and then the softness of the pore because even if she was soft and her sculpt didn't look realistic the form of the baby would not look right um, I've seen people try to do the baby poses with babies that limbs aren't sculpted as realistic and they just kind of look like noodles bent it's like bending spaghetti noodles and trying to make them look like legs it just don't come across the same so a lot of people hate to hear this, but a lot of it does have to do with the sculpting itself, um, as well as the softness, um, because she has armpits. She's very much baby-like. Um, her, you know, her her form is baby-like. So when I move her around, she's gonna have a very baby feel. Um, like Ruby is soft, but she's not as soft as, um, Phoebe. The sculpting is different. Like her, her neck, her head won't turn as easy. I mean, it turns, but it don't stay quite the same as like Phoebe like see it has some type of resistance um because she is a little bit more firmer and so she's and she's super soft but and she wrinkles really nicely and everything but she's not as soft as Phoebe and well I'm gonna say this too um also sometimes they I see full body silicone babies. The necks are so super short. And so it doesn't allow much flexibility in the neck. And that, you know, that's different. You know, it's just like when you see how hers just turn completely. Um, now they always gonna have favor one side more than the other for whatever reason. I've seen other people say that as well. Um, but yeah, sometimes I see the necks when the babies are just like so super short. They rarely, they hardly fall back or anything or fall forward because they've made the neck so short on them. And it's a lot because of people have to deal with, you know, what people are saying. Like people say, oh, you know. The babies are too floppy. Real babies aren't that floppy. The necks are, you know, all over the place. And it's funny. I'm going to tell you another thing. Um, you know, it's like this. I watched this video the other day of a, a lady pulling a baby out of the mole. And listen closely to what she said. They're like, oh my God, I would be ter scared. She was just yanking in it, pulling in it, squeezing in it just broth housing it and it was just like and then she says oh don't worry it takes a whole lot to tear silicone oh don't worry silicone is very durable um yeah we have to really pull it and tug to get it out the mold but don't worry it will be okay because silicone can be stretched but then in another voice 
someone will say after a doll is com silicone is completed oh silicones are very fragile i mean i just wouldn't you know you have to be very careful you can da 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 you know you rarely see somebody rip a whole arm off of a silicone god forbid let me knock on wood child that probably ain't even real wood let me go knock on this 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 thing over here because i know that's real wood but um because <laughs> i'll be just the one to pull the whole arm off but i think um they are very 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 you usually it's some type of tear that was like there and they just kept agitating at it or they you know sever a finger off or something you know it's not usually or something chew it off or you know that type thing um usually the one of the issues is paint you know paint laws you know that type stuff um matting coming off shine spots you deal with that um that's two of the things the biggest things that i i hear about the most i don't hear about tears or rips as much as um, in the beginning, I think we did, but I think they were using different products and I don't know, but more you hear more of paint coming off, hair loss, or, and not even as much hair loss because once it's rooted, even though it's not sealed, um, the silicone is like glue. So once it goes inside the head and it's deep in there, it pretty much stays because everything sticks to the damn doll, even with sticking it in the head, you know what I mean? So anyway, a lot of stuff people speak on that they have no factual research or sometimes not even any experience behind it they just spewing out you know recklessly opinions or advice or suggestions and all this stuff with no experience behind it or no um proof and now i i you know again everybody's entitled to their their opinions and i'm not this video is not disputing anyone in particular or you know debating with anyone i'm just giving my opinion based off of my experience and things that i've witnessed things that i've seen um and so yeah so um i don't think that silicone is as fragile as people think i don't think that i have to maintain them any more than I do my reborns. Um, Noah's been sitting in the same outfit for weeks now. Um, when I pick him up, he's not gonna look any dustier than um, Lily Grace that haven't been touched in weeks. Um, so, which is a reborn. Um, I hear that a lot. People are like, oh, it's a lot more maintenance. Um, not necessarily. And when the doll is cured properly, you pretty much have just as amount of risk of losing paint as reborns because reborns does lose lose paint and i have seen some of you guys have babies by certain artists that don't mat their babies a certain way so they go shiny they have a history of going shiny really fast and so that's in reborn so i don't think that one medium is more maintenance or less durable or less quality than the other I think they both have their pros and their cons. I think it's all about a matter of preference, what you like, what are you looking for, what overall experience you're trying to have. It's like, you know, someone told me that you got to have the Apple experience. Like I'm like, I can go buy my iPhone from my 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 phone care, my cell phone carrier. And my friend was like, "No, no, 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 no. You got to have the Apple experience." I'm like, "What the hell is the Apple experience? Who cares?" I mean, Hell, they're just going to sell me a phone. You know, it's just going to be the same. I mean, salespeople coming in, attacking me, you know, buy this, buy that. Okay, it's a great big store. The appeal looks, you know, nicer. But, I mean, it's the same freaking thing. Lo and behold, me and Gabby goes trotting, trotting down to go get my first Apple Watch. Um, gift to from my uh, love bug, my entanglement. And... <laughs> <laughs> girl um and so we go down there and then we stand in this line and before it opens i'm like damn is it a sale no that's just how it is like people are waiting for the doors to open and all these people standing in line and here i go and i walk in and it was like you know how they do the stars when you guys do your intro and it just the sprinkles come it was like ta-da that's how i felt like it was like ooh, the apple experience yes baby like you know 
Um, so, no, it really was. It was like, they were so funny. They all had on these little Apple shirts and they were all in their little gadgets and they had their phones and their watches and their AirPods and all this crazy Apple stuff. And everybody was at these little tables and like there are little, you know, sandboxes playing in the sand together. It was interesting. And, um, I, I will have to say... <laughs> It was a different experience and it was actually an Apple experience. It was definitely different than going into my regular cell phone place. Um, you know, you normally wait till one of the reps are free. Eventually they call you over. What do you need? What do you want? Okay. They fast track you, get you to what you want. They might suggest a sale. Oh, you ever, have you seen this? Have you seen that? No. Apple allows you to play with these things. They have it laid out. You work through it. You set it up. Oh. The guy would not even, he was going to set up my phone. He wouldn't, I mean, my watch. He wouldn't even open the box. He said, you have to open the box up yourself so you can have the full Apple experience. I was like, well, open this damn box. <laughs> Stop playing. I'm grown. <laughs> you know, but, uh, so I was like, okay. But, I mean, it was. It was, it was different, okay? So, sometimes we think things are overrated. It's not that serious. It's not that deep. Because we just haven't experienced it yet. And we don't know what we're missing until we try it. That don't match, baby, do it. And so, all I'm saying is that I encourage people to do as much research. I encourage people to look and see what they like. You know, see if there's things that they want to experience. See if something is moving them. You know, I may be interested in a partial silicone, but I'm not sure. So I start watching videos and stuff and I realized that, you know what? I, I do like the way that they pose. I like the, the movement. But then I hear that it's not the same. It's not the full experience if you don't get a whole full, full body. And it's like, man, should I just not get bother getting this, the partial silicone? I I think that I think that you should. I think that you should follow your gut instinct of what you really want, what you think you really want. Sometimes we don't know until we get it and realize that's not it. <laughs> um, but I think that you should try it so that you can have your own experience. And now I'm not saying if somebody says. So and so is scamming people. So and so babies fall apart. Um, and you've seen multiple people, and you've seen proof they've shown how they and it. You know, you really know. I'm not saying, oh, go and see if your baby will fall apart too. No, I'm not saying that. I mean, you gotta use stuff with common sense. Cause sometimes y'all people, ooh, I shouldn't say y'all people, child. Let me hush. Let me backtrack that. Sometimes we as people, we, <laughs> um tend to take things you know way out of context or too far like I wasn't meaning it that way you know it's like ask for ask for more pictures ask questions and then this person posts 50 pictures of a baby in every different angle that you could possibly see close-ups all up the nose the, the in the mouth the back of the throat everything and then because someone said you should always ask more questions and ask for more pictures you go and ask them can i see more pictures girl what i just took 50 pictures no next <laughs> you know what i mean like some people just don't use common sense oh he just need eyelashes poor baby neither one of them are looking great right now <laughs> yeah he gonna have to get some hair i think i when i made him a little red he was better when he was like pale with no hair but now that he has color it's like he has to have hair he need his eyelashes he need his eyebrows but we'll get there but anyway but yeah so um <laughs> yeah so just oh my god this video is so long good lord okay i gotta go i didn't even realize i thought i was like going moving up to 20 minutes i'm moving up to 30 minutes this is a whole sitcom all right guys i'm out of here Whew. This is a long ass video. I don't even know when I'll, maybe I'll upload late, uh, upload it. I don't know when I'm upload this, it's so long. Anyway, we'll talk later. Let me, let me know guys if you 
want me to continue to talk about differences in different things, reborns versus silicone, et cetera, et cetera. Um.